Hey friends, thanks for tuning in and my today's uh, review is going to be a kind of mini haul uh, from Makeup Revolution and you guys know Makeup Revolution I have uh, reviewed earlier also in my channel many of their products. I really love their product and they are booming like anything in all social medias and every now and then they are coming up with new products. So um, honestly I have not actually got enough time to play around with these what I have ordered but I thought I will uh, give you kind of I'll show you this product how it looks and a little uh, you know detail of this but then in case if you guys are interested to watch uh, my tutorial or in depth uh, if you want a review please do let me know in the comment box I will love to give uh, you know the or uh, show you the uh, demo or a review on these so let's begin with the, the my first palette which I got is uh, their uh, Flawless Matte 2 which uh, I ordered I think they have Flawless uh, Matte the first version also of this but this one I got it and, uh, and it got uh, 32 uh, shades matte shades the packaging is very similar it looks like any other their palettes um, uh, so all palettes mostly their look is same now uh, in this also they give these kind of sheet with the name written of each shades and a big mirror so I'll just hide this mirror uh, and you see these are the shades here beautiful shades all matte shades with these rows you see this portion if you see half is almost all light shades then this they have pink and uh, rose kind of thing uh, one blue is there and these are three gray shades so all, all, all very pigmented I for today's look I have used uh, this shade and these two shades and it's very pigmented I haven't play around enough with these which I am looking forward to do and um, a few of these shades I will show you like uh, if you see these light shades all shades are mostly pigmented and, uh, the blue one looks enough but of this is such a gorgeous blue so I really love this this kind of all neutrals browns and uh, rose kind of pink is there then grey so almost all shades are there but uh, I wish they would have given one highlight shade also because when today I was applying um, uh, the highlight you know below this uh, eyebrow brow bone uh, if you have to highlight that highlight shade is not there so I have to uh, look for the other palette to uh, apply there but uh, but of course it's a matte show so they haven't given any kind of highlight or shimmer shade so this is the flawless matte too now the from the same brand uh, uh, they have the other line this called I love makeup and this is my death by chocolate so uh, the packaging again it looks like this very tempting it's a complete you know give, uh, as soon as you see this palette it looks or reminds you of a Cadbury chocolate the shades shades backside also they have given and this is like this it's can you see the palette it's it's so beautiful guys I mean it just look like a your know, chocolate uh, thing and here also same thing they have given a mirror and then she, the sheet is there so it got almost uh, uh, all in browns and uh, these kind of one black shade is there and then these highlight two highlight sheets are there and uh, they have given a brush in this but in the matte too there's no brush or anything so they have given a shade, uh, space to keep this brush and these are the shades now. So four or five shades are shimmer, rest is kind of matte shades. So this is also a good palette to do a smoky look and all. So this one is chocolate, death by chocolate. And then I bought us the, their blush palette. Now this is um, th this got a eight high pay of blusher powders and uh, it says gold golden sugar and now um, I don't know uh, like almost in this this is also same packaging and everything and but uh, here again the same big mirror and uh, stuff is there so palette look wise it's same for everything like blush or uh, their contour palette or their eyeshadow palette every packaging is very similar and these are the shades which you see here 
now in this um, only one is matte so this probably you can use for contour for me I don't think I can use it because it's it's light you know so contouring shade will not work for me of course but for a fair or a pale skin people can use that these are basically uh, highlighters now if you see it's so so pigmented shade lovely shade this is and uh, then again you see the but then somehow i am not a kind of uh, shimmery person i really don't like uh, a uh, shimmer on my blush or my contour but uh, believe me uh, you know this is going to be a way good uh, as a eyeshadow palette so more or less for me it's less bl blush palette it's more uh, for me is like an eyeshadow palette but of course this i can use uh, for my highlight it's beautiful shade so probably for me uh, i would go for these two as an ha a highlight uh, and the rest I can, I don't know, I can, uh, sorry, these three I can use, see, this also, a beautiful color. So, it's, the, this product, this basic palette is that you can use on a multi uh, ways, like many of you can use as a blush, uh, you know, or if you don't want to use a blush, but then, uh, you know, uh, you can use this as a, in place of highlighter and bl uh, blush, so all two in one will do this one so it's it's up to you that how you have to play around with these shades it's all are very pigmented um but basically i, I as i told you i have didn't got much time to play around with it. this i have used this as an highlighter and this as an highlighter so far uh these rose gold one i have used for my eyeshadow so it's a multitasking palette basically you can use as for your blush highlighter eyeshadow it will do uh, uh it will come I mean, as it is pigmented so it looks beautiful in any any of the look you do so this is the palette uh, you call ultra blush palette but this almost except one everything is shimmer in this then I have uh, already reviewed in my channel uh, this palette uh, this is called ultra pro I love this palette as I mentioned there also it's like uh, my every uh, day you know uh, for a eyebrow I use this only and this, once again I'm showing you this to what happened so, so this is like two uh, four uh, two waxes there and four powder shades one uh, for your uh, to highlight the arch and one is uh, highlighter shade so uh, in depth detail if you would like to see on this I will link down in the description box so I really love it. Then I ordered this. Uh, their, um, this is called. It, it, the packaging of this comes like this. This is basically an eyeliner thing. An awesome double flick liquid eyeliner. Minimize and optimize it says. It's in the color black. And I think they got uh, both. Like a thick. This is the thin one. If you see this is the thin side of it. So probably it's very good for the beginners to do a wing eyeliner or something like that, you know. And this one has a thick side. So any any like for, for the eyelid part you can use the thick, and for the wing you can use thin. It depends on how you want to play around with this. So it's a both side uh, uh, this eyeliner, thick and thin is there. So I think. Uh, it says the professional flick perfection with option of the fine and precise intense flick or the bold and precise thick flick. So you, it's good uh, for both uh, those who want a heavy uh, or a thick, you know, uh, wing eye or a thin wing eye. You can play around with it as the look you require. You can do it. Um, then I was looking for uh, basically a br brush cleaner, and I have as uh, like. A, beauty blender and liquid one and other thing I, or normally I use my uh, baby shampoo for cleaning the brushes and I wanted actually these kind of solid uh, uh, brush cleaner and uh, when I saw this I was quite um, interested to buy this and use I haven't used it so it looks like this it's kind of 
I think you have to scroll the brush in this and uh, the leather will form and then you have to rinse your brush. So it's very handy. I mean, I feel that it's a travel friendly because you don't have to carry a liquid, other liquids and all. Uh, there is always a possibility of, you know, it's getting spilled uh, in your uh, makeup kit or anything. So it's very travel friendly probably and um, I haven't used it. I have to use this and try how it is. But the feedback and the review is good probably so hopefully it's going to be good then i just i i don't uh, own any of the makeup revelation lipsticks but i ordered one just to give a try of it they have two three uh, uh, lines on it i think the rose gold and those things are there but then i ordered this one this is i think no name or anything is written but the packaging of this looks uh, like this and the, the best thing is you know when you uh, keep in your uh, vanity or anywhere uh, you exactly come to know the shade because it's a very similar shade what it is inside so this is enchant is the uh, shade name and it's kind of uh, this shade it's a very light pink kind of I don't know, pink with the blue tone is there in this uh, but for me uh, I tried, uh, I feel, see, the color similarity is very much in the packaging and the lipstick. But uh, when I tried this, it was a little light to me. So with uh, the darker lip liner, if I bear and I apply, I think it looks gorgeous. So that way only I use it. Otherwise, it's a little light to me. But for, uh, of course, this shade will be beautiful for the fair or, you know, pale skin tone people. So that's pretty much is my... Um, haul from makeup revelation and uh, as i told you if you guys are interested in watching any of the look or anything please do mention it or any of you already using it do let me know how you feel about this product and uh, your opinion so hope uh, this was interesting review for you guys see you very soon take care bye bye